Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. This is the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 24. And it quotes, For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which you see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Bruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who have taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Shalom to those who are also sincerely seeking this truth, to the few aquats, to the spoku beds spread around the four corners of the earth. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatam. So earlier I read this verse, which is in the book of Luke, ten twenty four, and I'm going to read again. For I tell you that many prophets. And kings have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Dear Akim, dear Aquat, if you know this truth, you need to give all praises, thanks, and honor to the Most High Yahweh. Bahashem Yahawashai. It is a great privilege. It is a great privilege. This truth is actually a key and it makes so much of a difference as a human. There is a huge difference between those who have this truth and those who don't have this truth. There is a huge difference. So today at the plantation, I was having a conversation with one of my colleagues. So he told me it was about, he actually, you know, he booked an appointment to take the waters. And y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't want to make mention. So when he told me this, at first, I didn't want to say anything, but I just wanted to see his understanding. And I told him that, hey, have you made researches regarding these waters? Have you taught twice regarding these waters? And truly, this individual actually knows that these waters has nothing good to do to him. He knows, he has heard about people falling. For these waters he, he has heard about people dying immediately they take these waters he has heard different things that these waters has nothing good for him and he also knows that those who have actually you know put themselves to create these waters to save humanity so called okay he knows they've not done they've done nothing good to humanity he knows the government has done nothing good to humanity you know this individual actually knows about all these things but then he goes ahead to tell me um you know if you don't take these waters you know it's going to be it's going to be um, obligatory very soon and he knows that it's going to get obligatory very soon to take these waters so he told me yeah because he actually needs to go visit his brother you know in france you know he has some activities that he does during the summer and he doesn't want to miss these activities and i was like just you know i was blown away by his response he knows about this things he knows that it is wrong for him but it would still go ahead so he can you know enjoy himself 
so-called enjoyment you know travel out and do things that you you know that suits his, his flesh you know so i tie i started like you know the spirit was actually on me to speak a little bit to this individual and i started like telling him you know things you know explain to him that you know these people giving you these waters they've done nothing good to humanity rather if you go deep back into history all they've done is destruction all they have always done is destruction and tell you lies you know there is nothing much i could tell this individual because he knows about all these things but he doesn't really see deep the way we see you know he knows about all these things i can't tell him much he knows that you know the so-called rulership is 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 run by, by 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 the dumb devils you know esau he knows all these things naturally so i have the feeling that this this could be a jake you know even if it's a speckled bed he knows about all these things but he doesn't have that vision he doesn't see deep into tomorrow he doesn't see deep into that new kingdom that is about to come he doesn't see the son of the most high yahweh shai coming to save us from all this mess that esau has put together you know and when i saw these things when i saw i couldn't convince him at least it tried to give me that feelings that i convinced him but deep inside me i knew i never convinced that individual i knew he was still going to go ahead to take these waters you know when i saw this i gave all praises thanks and honor to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai the most high yahweh the creator of heavens and earth the architect behind everything who sent his son who is the first soul created to put out these works of creation whose name is yahweh shai who the world ignorantly called jesus i gave all thanks and praises to him for having let me know this truth because really this truth makes a difference it makes a huge difference there is a huge difference between those who have this truth and those who don't have this truth so dear hakims and a few aquats in this truth if you have this truth man the least you can do is give praises to yahweh bashem yahweh shai at all second all time of your life your mind should be set on yahweh bashem yahweh shai just to give him thanks for having chose you to, to know this truth man because as you see in this verse it says for i tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to know to see those things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them this truth makes a difference this truth makes a difference these people out there in the world they don't see what we see they believe that these waters yeah it's not really cool it might cause some things but yeah they don't mind they don't mind taking it so they get so they get their so-called liberty which is not even freedom which is not liberty you know so they could go party you know so they could go vacations and get crazy and do different stuffs but we see deeper than this we are not going to take those waters and which we know that these waters is actually an introduction to the mark of the beast which is the which is the microchip you know we are not going to take it we're going to sacrifice these things because we live in this world but we are not a part of this world we don't see things the way the world see it you know we know that the real kingdom is yet to come and we know that yahweh shai the son of the most high 
is coming to redeem us from this wicked kingdom so this truth actually makes a huge difference man i'm saying this and this is not the only individual i'm going to speak with to be sincere even yesterday because i actually you know i labor at a plantation with you know in a huge complaint you know we have i have different colleagues every day and each time i go out with these colleagues you know i just i don't really speak that much but you know when the spirit moves me to speak to these people i just you know try to weigh their mind to see what's going on with these people yesterday i had a different colleague and he told me without even asking him man i didn't even ask him but he just told me that you know i booked an appointment to take these waters so yesterday i had a colleague telling me this and today i also had this another different colleague telling me the same thing yeah how about shame you how shall i be my witness i didn't even ask them about this you know they just went on and told me because they know i'm a kind of you know they know the kind of person i am even if don't if they don't really know you know they just have a feeling that this dude is different you know so they just told me like oh man i booked an appointment they actually thought they were telling me something cool you know I, well i just booked an appointment you know i had to go to another city because in my city you know there are lots of people already so i had i need to wait three weeks so i went to another city to book an appointment to get the waters you know thinking in their mind to tell me something really cool you know but once this one told me yesterday and this is the same thing that really happened yesterday he told me this thing and i was like man can't you just chill and wait and this dude actually knows about every damn thing i couldn't tell him nothing he knows that the people who put down these waters together they have no good for humanity but these people don't see behind they don't see what we see even if you try to explain to them they just don't see what we see so this truth actually makes a huge difference man all praises to the most high yahweh bahashem yahweh shai who have chosen us to have this truth man you don't play with this truth man it's a privilege it's a privilege now let's get another scripture which is in the book of proverbs it's just right at the first chapter this is the book of proverbs chapter one i'll start from verse five it quotes a wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels to understand a proverb and the interpretations the words of the wise and their dark sayings the fear of the lord yahweh is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and knowledge my son hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother which is actually the scriptures the bible we have including the apocryphers you know this truth man it's not given to everybody it's given to a few and if you're part of that few that it's given to that you understand the scriptures man this is the time you really need to put your plows out there and walk walk towards your salvation because truly not all who are given this truth are going to be saved some will have this truth to their condem condemnation and some will have this truth to their salvation so this is really a huge privilege having this truth if you find yourself in this situation right now you should give all praises to the most high yahweh about shemi awashai at all times putting close to your heart to the best of your abilities this
statutes and commandments he has given to us and doing this work of spreading this truth going out there to teach this truth if you can if the spirit is on you or making videos if the spirit is on you we have to work our salvation man it doesn't it just doesn't come like that even in this damned world we know that nothing good comes so easily so man this is really i don't know but the spirit is heavy on me today you know i might not have made the point i wish to make but you know this actually meant a lot to me today you know listening to these people today and yesterday and saying that after even hearing the truth that you know this shit is not good for you but they really don't see they don't see that thing that we see man it's a privilege to have this truth so i'm going to i'm going to read the last um precept and close up which is in the book of matthew 22 I'm going to read from verse 14, which says, For many are called, but few are chosen. Okay, the Most High has called many, but He is going to choose only a few. He has called many by giving them this truth, by letting them understand certain things. You know? Some of them never accepted it even after they heard it. Some accepted after they heard it, but on the long run, they fell off and went back to the world because of one party, because of vacation, because of, you know, different things. They just bought a new car. They just bought a new house. They need to enjoy all these things that the Edomites are enjoying. You know, they forsake the truth. Which means they were never meant to keep this truth with their heart. I hope I passed the message I wished to pass today. And I hope this lesson is edifying. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Bruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone GMS who have taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Shalom.